What's good with y'all young boys and girls? I'm saying thoughts. This is the same. Like, welcome back to another reaction. Today we got another avatar reaction. It's kind of an informative video. This one's titled Why is Azula Fire Blue? Now, I don't know if they answered it in the uh series. Like I said, it's been a minute since I watched the series, but Azula is the only one I can remember in the show that has blue fire. So hopefully he can answer this question to the best of his ability. If you guys enjoy this reaction, please leave a like, comment down any videos you guys want me to react to. Let's get right to the video, man. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. If you have any questions you want us to take a look at, comment down below. Princess Azula from the Fire Nation is a reoccurring fan favorite, but not so much celebrated in her own world. There's no way around accepting the fact that she is one of, if not the most deadly person alive, at least in Aang's time. Mm. Every appearance of hers is not only marked with eerie background music reserved just for her, and intimidation. but she also exudes sheer dominance over anybody who's in the same room as her, effortlessly pushing them into her shadow. Yep. While her persona is surely interesting on its own, one of her most striking features is her firebending, which distinguishes itself from that of others. Blue Fang. How so? Well, one only needs to take a quick look at any of the scenes she's seen fire bending in to notice that the color of her fire is blue instead of the typical yellow, orange, and white. Hey, that, this was a fire episode when Azula was fighting everybody. She was fighting Sokka, Katara, Toph, Aang, even her brother Suka. She was fighting everybody. I, I, this was a fucking banger episode. Why is her fire blue? Did the animators just decide to make it blue because it looks cool? Or is there a deeper reason? In order to answer that, we should first take a look at the few times where her fire is not blue. The they first show? time we see Azula bend. Oh yeah, fire in, the, right in the in the opening. The intro. While yeah. the intro is not a part of the story, it is an interesting thing to note and raises the question of why Azula's fire is normal here, or why they chose Azula for the fire bending part and not someone else from the show like Iroh or Roku. Yeah. The next time we see Azula bend at normal fire is actually in a flashback showing her in her younger years. As she demonstrates her advanced fire bending abilities to her grandfather Azulon, we see no sign of her signature blue fire yet, which yet again throws a few questions in our way. Why was her fire not already blue back then? Mm. When did it turn blue? Is her blue fire natural, or did something or someone from the outside affect it to the point of turning blue? You might all. I always thought it was just, you know, she was just a prodigy, you know. Like, the more she learned firebending, the better she got it in. She probably, I don't know, somehow, some way, just unlocked, figured out a way that you could, you know, firebend blue fire. I don't know, man. Already guess where I'm going with this. Blue colored fire is a thing that exists in the real world, and it's mm -hmm. much hotter than regular fire. About a thousand degrees Fahrenheit hotter. The conclusion wow. here being that the fire produced by Azula is not only different in its color, but also in its heat and deadliness. Just imagine the amount of damage she could inflict. I mean, yeah, we saw her fire bend many times throughout the show, but putting it in contrast to her brother Zuko, her fire bending was more controlled. Until their Agni Kai, anyway. Speaking of, the Agni Kai, which took place during Sozin's Comet, shows us that Azula is not always as controlled as she likes to be, which had a notable effect on not only her mind- Bro, look how- Y'all, look how psycho Azula looked during this episode, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I kind of felt bad for her when they- when, when Katara, like, chained her to the ground and she was, like, screaming out fire out of her mouth and crying. Like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I kind of felt bad for her, bro. Even though she did a lot of fucked up shit, that moment was kind of sad because she was- you could tell she was kind of messed up in the head, but she was breathing out fire, crying, laying on the ground with that, her chain to the ground. Like, it was just sad, bro. But also on her bending in turn. It is obvious that the mind and body act in concord with each other, with which we would come back to what Iroh told Zuko. Lightning is a pure expression of firebending, without aggression. It is not fueled by rage or emotion the way other firebending is. Some call lightning the cold-blooded fire. It is precise and deadly, like Azula. <laughs> he said like Azula. Mind. It's no wonder that a bender's mind must be pure and in balance with his or her spirit in order to be able to bend properly. 
Interestingly, this doesn't seem to be the case with Azula. Yes, for most of the time we see her relatively composed as she's shielding her emotions from outside forces, but the color of her fire tells us more than you might first think. After Fire Lord Sozin took the throne, he envisioned a world where fire is the dominant element. Thus, the nature and origins of firebending fell into oblivion, and fire was now instead fueled by rage and hate, used for destruction. Mm. Being hotter than others' fire, Azula must have deep hatred rooted in her. But where uh. did it come from? Well, there is one episode that can give us the answers. Zuko Alone While young Azula doesn't seem so different from the Azula we've come to know, if you compare the flashbacks with scenes from the rest of the series, you will find that there is one big difference. Remember what we said earlier about something pushing Azula's emotions into the dark? What do y'all think it is? Y'all, 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 what do y'all think it is? I personally think is that her mother bonded better with Zuko than she, than, than Azula at, at, a, at a young age. Because if y'all remember in this episode, the flashback, Zuko and the mom got along very well, and Azula and the dad got along very well. It was kind of weird how Zuko didn't get along with his own father, and Azula didn't get along with her own mother. So I feel like that's probably one of the reasons, but let's find out. What if it's not a thing, but a person? The person in question? Ursa. The first flashbacks, where we also happen to see Azula firebend, take place before Ursa's disappearance. At first, it seems that her mother's disappearance leaves her cold, as we don't see her react to the news at all and instead see how she tells Zuko before he runs off to find her. These events were only from a couple of years before Zuko's banishment, by the time of which Azula probably bent blue fire already, as neither Iroh nor Zuko were surprised about it when they saw each other for the first time since they had left the Fire Nation. Considering that Azula did harbor feelings for her mother, as she later confides in Mei, Tai Li, and Zuko at the beach, and is clearly seen when she breaks down in front of the mirror, being haunted by an illusion of her mother and shattering it right after, it does seem plausible that Ursa's disappearance and lack of care for Azula is what eventually fueled the boiling hatred in her. Yep. With her inner fire more intense than that of her brother's, this is what likely affected the color of her fire. It should also be noted that when we see Azula on the throne, the blue fire that surrounds her gives her a very pale and somewhat sickly appearance, further emphasizing the diminishment of her sanity. What do you think? The official reason given by the creators is more of a practical one. With a differently colored fire, it was easier for the animators to build and follow fight scenes involving two or more firebenders, which makes sense if you think of moments like in the episode The Chase, where three characters at once are taking on each other in a fast-paced follow-up of movements. Do you prefer the official reason, or do you have a theory of your own? I, li I like this reason. Fire is blue. Let us know. Did you enjoy our... I think his reason is actually valid because I told y'all before he even told us that I literally said the same thing. I think it had, I, well, I didn't say the same thing, but I knew it had something to do with the mother Ursa because I just told y'all she didn't really have a bond with her mother and that could really traumatize, you know, a kid. Like, like a, a son, if you don't have a, if you, as a son, if you don't have a, a bond with your father, that could be traumatizing. As a daughter, if you don't have a bond with your mother, that could be traumatizing. But yeah, this is a good theory. Y'all, y'all, y'all give me y'all best theories down below why y'all think Azula has blue fire. She's like literally the only one in the, in the series that showcases blue fire. But this is a good little video I enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, please leave a like. I'm saying thoughts. It's the same life. Until the next reaction, I'm out, bro. I love y'all.